So good morning Philippines and good evening here in Pennsylvania. Our time is 8 in the evening and today is May 28, 2023. So our topic for today, this is about from my previous travel to the Philippines. So I know it's been a while. Uh, I, I think this was like three weeks ago. But I, I am still willing to share my experience. We have... We, I can make it into a short uh, video only uh, okay so uh, first uh, of course uh, make sure when you do a booking uh, make sure that you double check your uh, luggage or a baggage how many included a free chicken you know because uh, I did something mystic guys uh, when I did a you know a booking when I did a when I booked my flight. Uh, I, I didn't double check my uh, a free a check and baggage uh, for my return flight. So which means you know I when I go to the Philippines, I have only one check and baggage, and then when I came back, I have two. So you know what's happened? I have to pay an extra one baggage in there, and it cost me one hundred dollar. Of course, that's what it cost. And then it took a little bit more time uh, how to check in, you know, because you need to go to the cashier window and then and then you have to come back to the check, you know, where you check in your baggage area. So, you know, it's a little bit hassle, you know. So it's better you have to double check how many uh, check and baggage you have in your uh, flight, I mean, in your booking or your ticket. And then, of course, I don't have a vaccine. Uh, to those who have already a vaccine card, there's nothing you can do. Only a uh, travel and, of course, your valid passport. Or if you are a Philippine passport, uh, make sure that your uh, green card is still valid. And then, if your passport, Philippine passport is not, uh, it's already expired. You can go, you can still travel to the Philippines, but you have a problem to coming back in here because you can't exit in the Philippines with. Uh, expired passport as I knew that because when I was on the uh, embassy of uh, Washington um, when I did my uh, passport renewal so that's what they said to me so well we'll come back to our ta uh, we'll continue to the topic about this preparation uh, how I traveled to the Philippines since I don't have a vaccine card, so I did a rapid test on Sevi is they called inside and there is there is uh there is uh like a something like a clinic guys. Uh, uh the called is like minute clinic. Uh yeah, that's where I did my thirty uh my rapid test and it take it took only a thirty minutes, you know. So I get the result after thirty minutes. So uh as I remember um, I went to uh, Pittsburgh's airport and then Chicago Chicago to Alax Alax is where is the Los Angeles and the Pittsburgh's guy they asked only uh, my passport and my e-travel e-travel pass and they don't ask my uh, negative antigen results you know that's what this, it says when I book my ticket I followed the requirements in there but i know maybe there is a lot of people now that it's uh, you know like have this the same uh experience of me that uh, they don't you know like uh the airport they never ever ask the negative or the swap this record but it's better you prepared because you don't want to be stuck on the airport or you have you don't want any problems so uh, if you don't have a vaccine, you know, a vaccine card, it's better you get a negative swab test, you know. And for example, if you travel for to like a tomorrow in the morning, it's okay if you can get like morning or afternoon. But for example, if you travel or your flight, it's like a tomorrow in the afternoon, like for example, around in, around in the 5 or 6 in the evening, uh, to make sure that you can, if there is a available just do a rapid test or which means a swab test for today like the last hour or you know like last hour or that's last last schedule you know 
so at least because uh it says and there it should be a prior for 24 hours you know valid for that so uh you don't want to be like for example your travel is uh tomorrow for in the afternoon and then you do you know you're gonna do your uh swap this uh today like very early so that will be like a more than 24 right you know so to make sure guys that you don't have a problem so it's better you like for example uh tomorrow afternoon like six in the afternoon that's where be your flight try to make sure that you can get the schedule for your uh antigen antigen as uh, taste or you know the swap this for today uh, like an the last hour or you know like that okay we're going to proceed on uh how i you know about my uh layover and my stopover well that's that that was not really good because on chicago uh I have a layover in there for 45 minutes only and you know guys I need to be like run like that because first is the airport is big and you have to find your uh, terminal of course and then you have to and then I'm not really from of course if you are first time on the airport you're not you will never you will never ever be a familiar in that place you know so and then especially when I get to the Lax airport, oh my gosh, that was really crazy because I walk I guess like ten to fifteen minutes and I have a hand carry. My hand hand carry guys, I need to carry that on my hands because uh I don't have that luggage that with you know the small luggage that have well that's more a little bit easy if I have that. But no, that's not what that was not my luggage design, you know, it's like so I have to carry in my hands. Uh, that was a little bit painful of my arms and of course on my shoulder. My you know it's really a little bit. It hurts me. So uh, and then um, when you get to the because I was I went to the Philippine Airlines you know in Lo in Los Angeles. So uh, before you go to the boarding area, you have to change your boarding pass into. A from you know there is uh in front or i mean beside by the boarding area of the philippine airlines there is um what's called in there like uh the uh, philippine uh the desk you know where you can get your uh, boarding pass boarding pass so and then uh you have to get your boarding pass in there for uh, philippine airlines because you can't get inside in a way if your boarding pass is still american airlines and then uh when you get to the manila guys uh before you go to the immigration uh as i know they don't ask my uh, swab this record in a way they ask only my uh, philippine passport in my travel and then uh, of course i am a philippine holder passport so i have to go to the philippine uh, line and then there is also in there for foreign passport of course uh that's it and then there uh because that was my first uh travel from here in the united states to the philippines it's a little bit new for me but now you know that's uh if it's still the same it doesn't really bother me but well everything it's well it was a very smooth and then easy and not that hassle guys and especially uh for the domestic flights they don't ask any a vaccine card or any a negative and you know vax swap this so that was really good you know so and then the very important you have a valid identification and then uh make sure that uh you prepared for most and everything uh, the documents that you need and uh if you are a green card you know you how if you are a green card traveling to the philippines make sure that your green card is not expired okay and then um it's about a little bit of uh you know a budget in the philippines uh make sure guys you can bring enough cash money uh of course uh most of the and there is cost more or a lot now and i mean 
it's been a while that I never been in the Philippines, you know, since I came here in the United States, that was like five years after, you know, uh, I've been here five years and then uh, that's more than five years and then I just uh, came back to the Philippines and then I was a little bit shocked for the prices under and uh, if you have a cash and you wanted to have a exchange, you know, your uh, dollar into peso, you can do that in the international, in uh, Terminal 1, there is a video in there, uh, based uh, on my observation, guys, BDO is the most, uh, have a good uh, exchange rate, and then, of course, uh, or other, um, you know, if you use a card, uh, most of their, like for example, like for my bookings and reservation, and also for the, uh, I did a little bit of shopping in the Philippines, of course, because I did not bring a lot of clothes. So I used my MasterCard, and then when I come back here, just paid, you know, whatever, or how much you wanted to pay, or you can pay all if you have a money, or whatever. But as what I said, the Philippines is a little bit upgraded now. Uh, you can use a card, you know, a credit card, a debit card, but I never use my credit card in a way. But if you, for example, if we wanted to uh, have a cash, you can do also, for example, if you don't have a bank in the Philippines, you can do that through to your Western Union or you can do all remotely and you can send it through to your name. Then you can claim, claim to the uh, remittance says area you know where is the remittance uh let's call it branches you know so uh that's only and then also if you are going to uh, the provinces or for the local flights guys uh they never ask any uh, swab this and unvaccination but when anyway the Cebu pacific is you sh how you have to wear a mask you know inside of the plane but because the travel it took only a one hour and 15 minutes so it's nothing comfort for the more than 20 hours uh from here in united states going to the Philippines. but anyway i have to cut this this is about only ongoing you know how what i how i prepared my travel going to the philippines and then uh for my next video i will do for my return um that will be the next and anyway thank you for watching and have a good day see you for the next episode bye bye